Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jealous, and tonight I have week number four of season number five of the WPL. This week we're facing Adams, coach of the Manchester Stormers. Now we are coming into this match with a 3-0 record with plus 8 differential, and I believe he's 1-2. He had a really tough start, but his look will be down in the description below, so please go check him out. I believe he's really close to 100 subscribers. He might even be at 100 by the time you guys see this video, but either way, be sure to check him out, and also be sure to uh, subscribe down below if you want to follow your aggrons through the WPL season, but um, a really interesting match this week, I'm just going to uh, say it, but uh, when I was scouting his previous games, I realized that he really liked to bring a spike stacking Skarmory, and then uh, just a ton of hyper offense, except for Umbreon, obviously, that's not really an offensive mon, but uh, that was idea was suggested to him by Storm, but um, you see, he re really liked it after that, so I figured I could try to take advantage of that and bring a setup mon. So we have uh, Nasty Plot Thunderous and Tail Glow Manaphy, and I can just... Uh, set up in front of this thing, and if he doesn't really have any um, uh, Scarfers, the, and I do have a defense investment to take on the Infernape, um, I could just win out, right? And then, um, other than that, we have uh, Bulky Mega Scizor, it's my best way of dealing with uh, physical Lucario, in case he wants to bring like a Swords Dance set, we do have Super Power, uh, and then we have uh, Defensive Cofagagus right here, I uh, can switch into the Infernape really nicely, it only takes like 30% from F Flare Blitz, unless it is Bandit, of course. And then we have Bandidente and Substitute Kieran Black, in case we want to set up on like the Empoleon or Umbreon. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the match right here. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to take advantage of the um, Spike Stacking lead right here. I throw off a Surf right away, in case he was some kind of Whirlwind variant, and I just wanted to break his Sturdy. But uh, he didn't go for Whirlwind turn 1, so I go for the Tail Glow here. And I believe I just go right for a Surf. Um, interesting play with the Protect there, because I easily could have Tail Glowed up again and just gotten up to plus 6. But uh, we're going to be able to bring that thing all the way down to sturdy with the plus 3 surf. He's going to get up 2 layers of spikes, so uh, really a he is a big win con right now. I have to um, uh, knock out some mons with it or else uh, this could be really hard because um, spike stacking is really annoying. It'll weaken my Cathagrius, not let it be a great switch into the Infernape. But uh, Lucar is going to come here bop, but that thing's gone. Uh, he's going to bring out the Empoleon here, which was... Um, Probably what he should have brought out first, but uh, he turns out he's just a, a physical veer in with a lot of defense investment. He actually had some spit F investment that should have done like 80, but it did uh, 65. So he's gonna go for the flash cannon. So he does. He's a mixed variant. Sorry, and uh, we're just gonna be able to do it K harm with the surf right here. Um, I believe next he brings out the Infernic. Uh Yeah, he's just gonna fire off his uh, fire Z move. Close combat probably would not have killed because I do have uh, like 36 in defense investment since I did not have to run max speed. So Surf's just going to bop that thing, and uh, Guard Chunk's going to come out. Uh, ha ha it's, re it's required to Mega turn 1, so um, I can just knock that thing out with an Ice Beam. And uh, then Umbreon will come out, and I I it doesn't die to plus 3 Surf, plus 6 Surf. Umbreon is so fat, like, we're at plus 6 and it didn't die, but uh, we're going to be able to knock him out with the uh, next attack right here. And that's going to be a 6-0 victory in favor of us, so uh, like I said, when I was scouting, I really uh, realized that he just wants to bring Spike stacking offense. So I uh, managed to take advantage of that really nicely, and uh, we ended up coming out with a 6-0 victory, so that means we are 4-0 uh, now with plus 14 differential, which is really great. However, we have some really tough matches coming up. Uh, we face uh, Takio, coach of the Barcelona Guard Chunks, who are like 3-1 and one right now, and their only loss was due to hacks, and he's a previous league champion. And then we have Larios Azuril, a two-time W Hill semi-finalist, and ended up beating us last season too, so... Uh, really two tough games coming up, so definitely be sure to subscribe down below if you are excited for those. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.